Hi guys, it's Quinn here. YouTube is great, but the algorithm is forgetful. You can help this channel out tremendously just by clicking the like button, so YouTube remembers to remind people when my videos come out. Burning be on you, Atreides. You shall have no souls, nor spirits, nor bodies, nor shades, nor magic, nor bones, nor hair, nor utterances, nor words. You shall have no grave, nor house, nor hole nor tomb. A curse is an invocation, a prayer that calls for harm to fall upon another. We all pretty much know what curses are, but today I want to talk about curses thematically, in the context of Frank Herbert's Dune, of course. Now before we get into the meat of this, we have to discuss a small bit of Greek mythology, specifically one particular dynasty described in pseudo-Greek history, the House of Atreus. According to Greek mythology, King Atreus once ruled over the great city of Mycenae. In the myths, Mycenae was originally founded by Perseus, who was the son of the god Zeus, and Dine, a princess of the city Argos. Real-world Mycenae was once the center of Greek society and possessed a military stronghold which dominated much of southern Greece. Atreus' descendants were referred to as Atreidae. They were known collectively as the House of Atreus. Greek mythology presents the histories of several great dynasties, and the history of House Atreus is a long and bloody one, for they were a cursed family. The curse began when King Tantalus, grandfather of Atreus, offended the gods. As a result, he was condemned to torment beneath the earth, and a generational curse was set upon his family. The House of Atreus was infested with betrayals, corruption, and even familicide. It all went on and on until one descendant, Orestes was able to break the unending bloody cycle by accepting his fate and the punishment for his crimes and the crimes of his house by submitting himself to the Furies, the Greek female deities of vengeance who lived beneath the earth where they tormented the guilty. Only this broke the curse of the house of Atreus. It is no secret that Frank Herbert took some degree of influence from Greek mythology with his creation of House Atreides and Doom. House Atreides, like the House of Atreus, is continually plagued with misery and tragedy. Nearly all members of House Atreides that we encounter in the books are met with tragic ends. Duke Leto, like his father, died before his time, after being captured by his enemy the Baron Harkonnen. His children, Paul and Aaliyah, both lived tormented lives and suffer tragic ends. Paul's first son Leto is killed as an infant. Paul's second son, Leto II, lives a tormented existence, imprisoned in a non-human vessel, a body which can never feel the touch of another human. Even distant Atreides' descendants are not free from the curse. The descendants of Ganema, Paul's daughter, all live uneasy existences. Maneo dies in the service of the god emperor. Darwi Odraid and Lucilla, both distant descendants of Paul Atreides, meet tragic ends whilst trying to ensure the survival of the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood. The same for Miles Teg, an Atreides descendant said to strikingly resemble the Duke Leto. He dies on Arrakis soon after unlocking new abilities hidden away within the Atreides genetic code. So if you take a step back and look at the story as a whole, it definitely seems like Frank Herbert took more than simply just the name Atreides from Greek mythology. It seems that like the House of Atreus, House Atreides is also cursed. At least they are cursed thematically. Curses may or may not exist in the Dune universe, but everything that plays out in the story plays out as if the Great House is in fact afflicted. There are literal curses uttered against House Atreides in the series also, though as I said, it's not obvious that Frank Herbert is denoting any actual otherworldly power to them. It's more likely that he is merely using them as thematic expressions. Decades after the defeat of the Padishah Emperor Shaddam Karino IV, after Paul Atreides' marriage to Princess Irulan, 
After the birth of the pre-born twins Leto and Ganema, Aaliyah Atreides, sister of Paul Atreides, rules the human imperium with an iron fist, and now even many Fremen held ill will towards the Atreides. Countless Fremen had died since Paul's ascension to the throne. They had offered themselves up in service of Muad'Dib's war. Among the Maquis of the Inner Desert, the name Atreides was spat upon. These Fremen rebels hated the Atreides so that they visited upon the Atreides a terrible and ancient Fremen curse. Burning beyond you, Atreides. You shall have no souls, nor spirits, nor bodies, nor shades, nor magic, nor bones, nor hair, nor utterances, nor words. You shall have no grave, nor house, nor hole, nor tomb. You shall have no garden, nor tree, nor bush. You shall have no water, nor bread, nor light, nor fire. You shall have no children, nor family, nor heirs, nor tribe. You shall have no head, nor arms, nor legs, nor gait, nor seed. You shall have no seats on any planet. Your souls shall not be permitted to come up from the depths, and they shall never be among those permitted to live upon the earth. On no day shall you behold Shahilud, but you shall be bound and fettered in the nethermost abomination, and your soul shall never enter into the glorious light forever and ever. It was said that those Fremen, the Maquis of the Inner Desert, consigned all the Atreides to what they called the left hand of the damned, the woman sun which is full of burning. Paul Atreides in the book Children of Doom also speaks of a curse that has been set upon House Atreides. He seems to believe that it is this curse that has caused the tragedy of his life and of all the Atreides' lives. In the deep desert, when his son Leto II confirms that Paul's sister, Aaliyah, is in fact possessed by an ancient ancestral ego memory as the result of her not being able to withstand the influence of her inner lives, Paul admits to this. I am not abomination, though I might have been, Leto said. I saw how it goes with Aaliyah. A demon lives in her father. Ghani and I know that demon. It is the Baron, your grandfather. Paul buried his face in his hands. His shoulders shook for a moment. Then he lowered his hands, and his mouth was set in a harsh line. There is a curse upon our house. I prayed that you would throw that ring in the sand, that you deny me and run away to make another life. Paul wanted Leto to free himself from the burden of ruling House Atreides, and thus the universe. He had hoped by doing so, Leto could break the family's curse. But Leto could not reject his responsibility as Paul had done. Considering all of this, it seems obvious that Frank Herbert was likely thinking about House Atreus when he was crafting the destiny of House Atreides. Things were never meant to go well for them, and that is true from the beginning of the story until the end of it. Ultimately, the Dune Saga is a tragic series. The protagonists suffer greatly in an unforgiving and deadly universe. Again here, I'm discussing the curse of House Atreides in terms of how the story plays out thematically for them. I'm not saying that there is an actual supernatural curse against them, although I suppose it's up to each reader to decide for themselves. Frank Herbert is not alone in weaving real-world mythological elements into science fiction. This is something that science fiction author Dan Simmons also does very well in his Hyperion series, which I have covered in several videos and I tend to do more of. Well, that's all I got for today, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe for more Quinn's ideas, and also follow me on Twitter. Hi guys, it's Quinn again. I just realized that I haven't taken the time to officially acknowledge that not too long ago on this channel, I hit 300,000 subscribers and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed. Thanks to everyone that watches my videos. It means the world to me. Um, I hope that you guys will continue watching my content. I will continue producing uh, the best content that I know how to make. I love the science fiction genre so much. I love the Dune Saga so much. And I just really appreciate all the support from you guys. Thank you so much for liking my videos. I appreciate all you guys' comments. And thank you guys so much for being here with me. Peace out.